Good morning, class. Hello, good evening. Thank you, Alexandra. You are always the one to answer. How are you? Hello. Hi, class. How are you? Fine. Thank you. I'm sorry, what? What happened? I hear a bad I'm connection. Fine. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, great, great. What about you, teacher? I How was your day? A normal day again. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> well. But it's good. I mean, it's better than yes. nothing. What about you? How was your day? Well, I the same. Uh, I just feel a little tired. Tired. I think because of the 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 work this weekend was very very intensive. This week. Intense. Intense. Yes, I could imagine that. Yeah, it was very intense, I, I, I imagine. Uh, but, sorry, go ahead, Oscar. No, but, but, but it's good because we, we have the opportunity to, to be employed in, this, in these times. Of course, yes. I have a question. Where is Tigo from? Tigo, Tigo is from, well, um, let's say the founders of Tigo uh, are, are, uh, are from, uh, let me, let me remember the, I think it's a Scotch, Scotch. Scotia, I think. Scotland. No, it's Luxembourg. Luxembourg okay. is the is the headquarter office. That's Sweden. That's right. Sweden, Sweden. But the the founders of of Millicom, they are Sweden. So there is a Tigo in Sweden. No. The the headquarters of Tigo are in Luxembourg. Okay, but it's in Luxembourg. The name is Tigo. No, the name is Millicom. Millicom, okay. So Tigo, Tigo is for, like for Latin America. Tigo is the 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 trade. I think we could say that trade, the commercial trade. No, and, and, and the marketing. The marketing, right. And it's good because estoy contigo. That's yeah, it's, it's, it's the marketing, but it's, it's, it's the same in, 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 in every operation of Tigo. Okay, my, okay, good, I understand, nice. Have you ever traveled to Luxembourg? Yes. You have? I, I, I were there in 2009. That was a very good experience for me. Uh, I had the opportunity to to be with the with, with very leaders uh, of Tigo. Nice, that's cool. I but, was there for. But you went to Luxembourg, one. man. That's 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 the best part. You went. Why to I was there? Yes, no, okay. I went. Yeah. I like to travel, like when you go to a different country, I like to go to the street and eat in the street. I think when, when you are in the other country, you have to go out and explore. Of course, what, yes. uh, The culture, the culture, everything. How long because were you it's, there? it's very different. Uh, I was there for one month. Wow, one month. It's supposed to be just uh, two weeks, 
but then I had to be there two weeks more. Okay. And your wife was angry. No, and in that time I I oh, I married. was single. Yeah, oh, okay. I was single. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. Okay, what about anybody here? Have you ever traveled to another country outside of Central America, please? Yes. Where, yes. Alexander? Well, I traveled to Europe in the past, and I lived in Jordan around 10 months in 2018. I was in an internship in an NGO there. In, in Jordan? No, interesting. Yes, in Middle East. What, what, what do they speak there, Hebrew? Arabic. Arabic, okay. Mm -hmm. How interesting. Was it interesting living there or dangerous, fun? No, dangerous. It was really interesting because it's a totally different culture. And, but it was a really cool experience to me because oh, I did did an internship in my area, so it was cool. And the internship was part of your work or your studies? No, no, I didn't decide to do that because I really want to be in an experience like that. It was a internship in HR in a NGO that helped people from Syria. Okay. Mm -hmm. How is Jordan? Um... It's really cool. It's a rich country there. Really? Yeah. In winter, it's really cold, and summer is really hot. Okay. Oh, I like. It's I a... love that. I love that because when it's, I love a country that is really cold and really hot. Mm. Um, I prefer cold. <laughs> yes. To be honest. Yeah, did, but... did you have a boyfriend in Jordan? Yes. What happened, man? You should have married him. No, <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, hey, that's interesting. I like that Jordan. Wow. What about who? Uh, I think Loria told me who ha who else has traveled. Good evening. Not yet. Hi. Oh, you haven't. Oh, okay. I would love to visit, I'm not going to die, but I would love to visit Tokyo or China, Japan, Taiwan, anything. It is, it's, I really would like that. And you know why? Why did you? Because this is if I have the opportunity and the money, like, okay, here, here's $10,000. Where do you want to travel? Personally, I would like to travel to France to visit all the museums, but really, I would like to travel to Asia. And the reason is because everything, totally everything, everything is different. If I go to Spain, yeah, it's different, but we speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, the same God, the same traditions, maybe. If you go to Argentina, yeah, the same thing. This, you know, but if you go to Japan, if you go to China, everything is different. I mean, even the face. <laughs> imagine, imagine you're in a hotel in China, and you 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 come out of the hotel, everything you see you don't understand. So I think it's a really great experience. To. What teacher? Yes. What Gloria. things about the food in this country, uh, in Japan or China? Or... Oh, I I love I love um, I like Chinese food. I like the mix of everything. When you eat, it's good. I feel that Japanese food is more artistic which is good. Yes. But in food, in food, in food, I would love to go to Mexico because Mexico is a very um, big country. 
So everything is different, you know. The food there is very spicy. Yes, but the tacos in Sinaloa are different from the tacos in Campeche, in, in, in Cancun, uh, you know. And and the, I, I like Mexican people. The Mexican culture is good. Do you know Mexican people? No. When Not you really. When you meet a Mexican person, one thing I admire very much about Mexican people is that they are very patriotic. Oh, yes. They, they love their country. And in El Salvador, we love our country, but we talk bad about about El Salvador. Very different yeah. We have we have Mexico. this problem. Yes. I'm sorry, Marisela. I I love Mexico. I traveled to Mexico um, the last year. Yes. And for the to November two. Oh man! Yes. November two. Yes. It's it was wonderful. Oh, I man. really really love Mexico. Yeah, me so, too. Wow. Really, uh, I think, well, when the people travel to other country, uh, normally went to the nice place. Yes. You don't know the, the bad ugly place. places. Yes. Yeah, the bad places. So I think uh, the Mexican have a lot of things to feel proud. Yes, it's true. So, yes, I in the November two uh, Dia de Muertos in yes, English. It, uh, yeah, the Day of the Dead. Yeah, the Day of the Dead. That is the biggest wow. holiday in Mexico. Wow! Wow! <coughs> it was a wonderful experience. I I can change for anything in my life. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay, Maricela. It's okay. I think that the movie Coco was about November too. Yes. 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 And that's my birthday. All... Really? Yeah. And uh, I have Mexican family, and and for them it was like, wow, your your birthday is cool. It's the day of the dead. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. And where? where... Do you, where do they where do they live? In Morelos. Mexico? Morelos. Okay. I have never gone there, but I have a, my mother traveled a lot to Mexico and she told me, David, you have to go to Mexico before you die, but you have to not only go to Mexico de Efe, go everywhere because everything is so different. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mexico is a is a big country. Imagine what difference could be each each state. Yeah, the food. That's why the food. The food is amazing. And tequila. I love tequila. I love Mexico for tequila. <laughs> no, and Mexican people are very nice people. Yes, very kind. They're very kind. Yeah. I, I have many friends that they don't like me. Well, El Salvador doesn't like Mexicans. And and I don't know, it's, you know, the stupid tradition. And I have many friends, ah, Mexican, man. And I say, you are ridiculous, man. In El Salvador, we are 50% Mexican and 50% gringos because we drink tequila, we have mariachis, we celebrate piñatas, quinceañeras, and all that is Mexican tradition. Yeah. And the music, uh, uh, the novelas that we oh, yeah. used to, to see or hear, it was Mexican. <laughs> yes. We're very influenced in Mexican tradition. Yeah. How, how many Mexican restaurants are there in El Salvador? Many. That's similar to pupuserías. I think after pupuserías... <laughs> Mexican food is the second most common restaurant. Yeah, that's yes. true. Now I am hungry because of you. Thank you. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the weather? No. Restaurant or, or restaurant? Food? No, I don't. Uh, restaurant in Mexico. No. Do you do you watch the a series in Netflix? La Orden del Taco? Or La, La Cronica del Taco? No, I have no. I seen it and I say I, I want to watch that. But the problem is that when I watch videos about food, I get hungry. <laughs> well, uh, watch it and tell me about um, the weather. I, I went to the weather and wow, the tortas. Wow. Wow. I'm hungry too. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> you know, I, I recommend you. I don't know why I started watching that show, but it's very, very interesting. Do you know Zac Efron? Yes. Yes. He, he's like a, he like little girls like him, but now he's an adult. He has a show in Netflix that he travels the world. Yes. And every episode is a different country. Man, it's very nice. He comes to Costa Rica. He goes to, and but it, the, the objective of that is the culture. It's yeah. very good. You should watch that show. I only watch the uh, chapter of Iceland. The first oh yeah, ones I the, that was yes. a good, did so you see that? 97% of Iceland the electricity, how the electricity works, right? Yes. yes. From the land. Wow. Y ellos se quedaron, oh my God. Wow. Que le dio vergüenza ser gringos, right? Like saying, oh my God. <laughs> Lo que ustedes hacen y nosotros tenemos la facultad y no lo hacemos. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You should watch that show. It's, it's, very... a, it's a good show. Yes. There's, a, there's one that he comes to, he goes to Costa Rica. That too. Okay, class. Okay. So now, thank you, Maricela. I'm hungry. Yes, me too. <laughs> Does uh, everybody eat dinner already? Did everybody eat dinner? Yes, I ate pupusas. Yes, <laughs> already. <laughs> you know, I feel a little bad. I feel a little bad when the economy opens again because many people, you know, it's Salvadorian people, we're very, um, we work. And many people made a business from that, you know, pupusas a domicilio, pupusas here, pupusas there, you know, comida a domicilio, everything. And I imagine what, what's going to happen when the economy opens, all those business will close. Like um, in my house, maybe five or six pickups come every day selling vegetables and fruit. So I don't know if it's going to continue. And I hope I hope they continue when the economy opens. But um, now everybody sells pupusas. <laughs> And they're not good. I mean, it's, it's very strange to find a good pupusa place. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, today we're going to watch a video. Just real quick, a video regarding the lesson. Uh, this is when we use might, may, and could. Okay. My, may, and I'm sorry, might, may, and could. Okay. Give me one second. Tell me if you see my screen, please. Yeah, now we can see. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. yes. So. Where is my... Okay, tell me if you, if you can't hear, tell me. Okay. 
Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Did you see that video? Yes, we see it. Yes. Yes. Honestly, did you understand it? No, we see it, but uh, not me too. I, I I watched that video maybe five or ten times. I'm what? What? No, but it's, <laughs> let's let's do this. Let's we're going to practice the mo models. I think it's very important because she mentioned maybe, can, could, must, but I think I think it's important to learn all of them so you, you know. Okay, hold on. We have can, could, may, Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes I do. Yes. All right, so here we have can, could, may, have to, must, should. Oh, and let's, I, forget, I knew I forgot one. Would. Okay, let's go with the easy one. Can, what is can? What do you think can is? Because I know I know that you know can is whatever. When you, uh, when yeah. you ask for permission. Okay. Can I do something? Can I go everywhere? Okay. I can do that. Bueno, I, I, I can do that. This is a better right. Can. Mm -hmm. So permission, right? Permission. What else? In ability, teacher. Very good. You remember ability. Uh -huh. Permission and ability. What is ability? I can play tennis. Okay, or good. I can play guitar. Yes. So, um, yes, abilities are things that you need to learn, right? 
uh, um, abilities are things that you need to learn, not study. You need to learn. Yes, for example, um, first of all, everybody understands, correct? Yes. So everybody understand permission and ability? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. Flora, are you there? Yes, tell me, teacher. Okay. Wow, you, you sound very happy today. <laughs> um, Flora, <clears throat> Stevie Wonder, you know Stevie Wonder? Excuse me, repeat please. Do you know, uh, do you know Stevie Wonder? No, I don't understand. Do you know Stevie Wonder? I don't know Stevie Wonder. I just called to say I love you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know why Stevie Wonder does this? Because Jose <laughs> Feliciano does this. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, what is the past, the negative of can? Uh, pass or negative. The negative of can. Is can't. Very good, can't. So I can, I can't. So the negative of can is can't. Now, um, can Stevie Wonder see, look, or watch? What is the difference? See, look, or watch? Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Stevie uh, Wonder. Stevie Wonder can't. See. He can't see. Very good. Why see, not look yes. or watch? Why see? See is um, uh, can you can see? He can or he can't. This is very important, class. He, the, the T, the he T, can't see. He can't. He can't. He can't. See. Very good. See. Yes. Okay. He can see. No, he can't. He can't see. Very good. It's very, okay. there's a, it, the, the, the definition is very different. The, the T is very, very important. So he can't see. Why see and no look and watch? What is the difference between see, look, and watch? Float or class in general? Do you know the difference between see, look, and watch? See is um, a bird uh, to, to the, um, how do you say, sentido. The scent. See is the, the scent and watch is the action, watch TV, watch on the video. And look? I think. No, you're good. And look? Look is the action to uh, your attention. Look at me. Okay, so... um. Okay, no, okay, yeah, I understand, okay. So, okay, thank you, Flor. Anybody else can give me a difference, but like a simple explanation of see, look, and watch, the difference. 
I think see is like an ability and watch and look is, is more like a verbs or actions. Okay, well, yeah, the three are verbs. So that's one thing very important. For me, teacher, and it's a, see is a, a natural ability. Look is an action, but it's not a, a, an action that it repeats all the time. It's, it's, it's once or twice, and depending on the context in your the state and language is an action that is continued, that is repeated again and again. Also, okay, every they're all good, but basically, C is like Oscar said, C is an ability. The entrada, C is an ability, but natural, natural ability. Yeah, it's your ability. You know, yes, I can see. No, I can't see. For example, me in this in this moment, estoy <laughs> viejo. I have problems. I can't read. I can't see the instructions in a sopa magi. You need glasses. I need glasses, yes. I can't see very good anymore. Because so that's why it's very, very, very. Yeah, también son sangrones. The, the letter is very like, really? So what I do yeah. is I take a picture with my cell, and then I open it. <laughs> yes, me too. Oh, you do that too? Yeah. It's... Yeah, yes. Yeah. But it's funny when I, I take the photos. <laughs> yes, it's true. So uh, see its ability. Look, you look at things that don't move. That is why you look, when you go to the museum, you look at paintings. You look at photos. You look at statues. Things that don't move or things that don't do an action. So listen. This is the simple explanation. See is an ability. You can or you can't see. Look is no action. You look at things that have no action. And watch is an action. Repeat, watch. Yeah, okay, look, I'm sorry, see is an ability. Look is no action. Watch is an action. Okay, so, for thank example, you. no, you're welcome. You look at the beach or you watch the beach? Look at? Look at the beach. What? No, you, why watch? Because it's in moving. Yes, but really it's not moving. I mean, the beach, when you look, is you're looking like at a picture. Now, if there's a marimoto, yes, it's different. <laughs> like, man, I was watching it and move. So, um, for example, uh, a baby when the baby is sleeping yes the baby moves but very insignificantly <laughs> you know the baby moves so you look at the baby or you watch the baby I look, um, the baby. look the baby yeah you look at the baby when the baby is sleeping yes but when the baby's awake, you tell, hey, watch the baby because. Uh huh, yes. Because. Do the action. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> it doing just, something. It's, it's your turn. <laughs> it's your turn, yes. So. But in the case in the television, for example, I'm watching TV or I'm looking TV. What? Depends. 
Look. If the teacher, if the TV is turned off, I look at TV. Yeah. But if hey, the... Like, look class, that's my TV. Look. You see, there's no action, right? Example, imagine I bought a car. I bought a Ferrari, but my Ferrari is parked. Hey, watch my car or look at my car. You look? Yeah, you look. Hello. My car is not doing anything. My car is parked. So to answer your question, you watch TV or you look at a TV, you look at a TV when the TV is off. You watch TV when the TV, there's an action inside the TV, so I'm watching TV. Mm -hmm. But imagine I bought a, 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 a I don't know, a 60 inch TV, a very, very big TV. And when somebody comes and visits me, hey, look at my TV. You tell them, wow, man, oh, yeah, nice. In that sense, when you look at the TV, wow, wow, it's Sony, wow, it's Samsung, wow, it's nice, wow. cuánto te costó? No, no. That's when you look. But if I turn the TV on, is watch. Okay. 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 So in this case, Stevie Wonder can't see. He has no ability. Correct? So can yeah. is, is to do uh, for permission and an ability. Correct? Next, we have could. Okay, next we have could. Um, Luis, Luis Mesa, what is could? Could is a, um, like a obligation or uh I don't know how to say uh, sugerencia, something like that. Mm, let me tell you. Um, who will be the polite way to say can? Wait. Luis, what is can? Can is a, could be a, a ability or permission. Okay, very good. Could, could is exactly the same thing as can. The difference is, it's past. Okay, Luis? Okay. So what is the definition of could? It's ability or permission, but in, in past. Very good. So it's a past permission and past ability. Let me go back to my Sopa Maggi example. In this moment, I can't, I can't see the instructions. I need glasses. When I was 20, I could. I could read instructions in Sopa Maggi. Like, oh yeah. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, but I, I have a question. Yes, please ask me. Because could it use for for something you are going to do or you, like can but but I could for example I could go to the office if the quarantine open, for example. 
Yes, I understand that. In that, um, there, Oscar, I'd rather you use would. Okay. And I will explain why. Okay. Um, yes, I could go to the office if you need a condition. If you pay me. But I mean, I use that would, which is a probability. Um, where is Alexandra? What is would? Would is the future of can. No, would. Would. Ah, sorry. That's okay. Is is another form to will? Well, to me, right? Would, okay. Um, oh yeah, in this moment, you don't have a boyfriend, correct? Alexander? Sorry? In this moment, you are single, correct? Mm, yes. Okay, imagine, okay, imagine you have a boyfriend. Okay. What would you do if you see your boyfriend with another girl holding hands in the park? Um, well, maybe break up with him? Maybe. No, maybe no. I will be, I will break up with him. If I see him with? If I see him with another girl. Good. So then this is a probability. This is an, this action may never happen. <clears throat> okay, this action may never happen, but this okay. is what I would do if that action happens. Mm, okay. So for example, what would you do if you win the lottery? Imagine you win $20 million. What would you do? I would donate Ten million dollars a los diputados, pobrecitos, dicen que están mal pagados. <laughs> pobrecitos, no. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, Gloria. Yes, teacher. What would you do if you win one million dollars? Oh. I will. I would travel. I will. I will travel uh, for the other country. Very good. I would travel to another country. Nice. Okay. Sir, I have a question. Yes, please. Yeah. Hello. I think he will often. I think I think Luis Luis Enrique is M I A. M I A. <laughs> yes. Oh, can you hear me? Now I can. Hello, hello. Oh. Yes, I can. Hey, very good. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you use? Okay, now I can't hear you. Yeah, I think we have a, you have a bad connection. We can't hear you. Yes. Okay, Luis Enrique, maybe your your um your audio is better later. Okay, so we have no problem with can, could, and would, correct? So, uh, Oscar, to answer your question, I could go to the office if. It's the same thing as I would go to the office if. Okay. But uh, more correct is I would. 
Okay. And it would se usa more like, what would you do? Yeah. Like, like imagine, who, who has children here? I, I have. Okay, you have children. What, um, there's a big question in this moment. Imagine the schools open. Uh -huh. the schools. Colegios, public and private schools. Would you send your kids if the schools open? No, I wouldn't. Okay, me too, I wouldn't. All right, good. Mm -hmm. What is May? May. Permission. Yeah, like a permission, more polite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, May is a. When you ask for permission. Formally. Formally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Oscar is su respuesta de could he would. Could I go? Could you go to the office or would you go to the office? The two are correct. También is correct to say can I go to the bathroom and may I go to the bathroom? The two are correct. Lo único. Can también significa ability. So, can you go? Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have to see and check it, but I don't want to. For example, and, my son. And you ask the question with except to you. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Example, my son, he can't go to the bathroom in this moment. We are trying and it's so difficult. Oh my God, man. But we are trying. So I would, I would recommend you to always use may when you ask for permission. Porque si tú dices, may I go to the bathroom? There's no option. Yes, you may. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, I, I got a it. question. Sure. Uh, uh, what about when we use uh, could for ask to somebody to do something like, uh, could you please uh, shut the door or could you please open the window? Uh, is that correct? Yes, it's also correct. Um, yes, we're going to see that right now. Um, oh, sorry. pero también es lo mismo decir can you? I would prefer to say it in present tense. Hey, can you please open the door? Can you? Be, yes, some people say, could you? Could you please open the door? Yes, it's correct, but formal, grammatically, grammatically, yes, y nos vamos a la gramática del idioma inglés, blah, blah. the correct form is, can you? Porque mm -hmm. could, could is always past. Mm -hmm. Pero ya están aceptado como decir antier. Sí, se han, ajá, se han, todo el mundo hasta informal. Todo, no todo, ante, anteayer. Ajá, de, la correcta sería anteayer, pero antier, pero ya, ya se acepta. Pero ya si nos vamos a la gramática, heavy, heavy, heavy grammar, es anteayer. Incluso en inglés así se dice, yesterday and the day before yesterday. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Pasado mañana. Mm -hmm. But that's a good question. But I would recommend you to always say can. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next, so, so you understand me with formal permission. Next, we have have to. Have to and must. Remember, I explained to you the difference between have to and must. Have to is like a recommendation and must is um, obligation. Um, I guess. Close, you're close. You're 50% okay. correct. I think that is uh, inverse. Uh, have to is an obligation and must is a suggestion. Yes, yeah, suggestion or recommendation. Yes, I think the same. 
No, no, no. No, I think it's the opposite. Well, well, I think must, must, when when someone tell us it must or it's a must, it's an obligation. When, when it, it's an obligation, mm -hmm. right? It's, it, it's, there is no, no option. You have to, it's the depend. It's, it's, uh, you have to, um, it's like a, you have to take a, a, a shower. It's, it's, it's your decision. <laughs> okay. For example. Uh -huh. Good. All those explanations are good, but have to and must, the two are obligations. Mm. The difference is that must is legal. Legal? Oh, legal. Or con tono de autoridad. Imperative. For, for example, Imperative. in the Tigo building, Can, can you go in the Tigo building with your badge, with no badge? You have to have the badge. No, you have to or you must? You have to. <laughs> o sea que, si no lando, it's okay también. Yes. Well, we have two, two, two badges. One is the carnet. Yes. Another one is, is your, your access. Exactly, yeah. the access badge. You, the access to, badge to is, must, is a must. Yeah, okay, it's a must. Yeah. yeah, you must, right? Yeah, for example, in my, in my, in my job too, in, in Telus, I, I can't go in with no badge. Like, hey, me abre, no tengo badge. No, <laughs> you know, you can't, right? You must open with yeah. a badge. And if you have no badge, okay, I call security. And the security will take your information and, and the security opens for you. So must is a, a, a legal obligation. Obligation. And o autoridad. Can you give me an example of authority? The police? Your mother? Your father? Yeah. If you're across the... Your boss? Mm -hmm. Entonces... Oigan esto, cuando ustedes le, den una, le dicen una obligación a alguien, depende en qué tono se la están dando. Si son unos, ¿cómo es? Si, por ejemplo, si se lo dice de compañero a compañero, hey, mañana tenés que venir de blanco. Ah, ok, thank you. Hey, tomorrow you have to come in white. Pero si usted es jefe, y le va a dar esa instrucción, esa orden a alguien, then you say must. Like, okay, people, tomorrow you must come in white. Okay. To go to the bank to cash a check, you have to have a Dewey or you must have a Dewey. You must have a Dewey. Yes. You must have a Dewey. Bueno, ¿saben qué? En pocas palabras, must no es negociable. <laughs> and have to is negotiable. Yeah, sí. Maybe. Porque yo, yo te puedo decir, hey, you have to use the seatbelt. Tienes que usar el cinturón cuando... Manes, pero un policía va a decir debes de usarlo con tono de, de autoridad. Yes. So really is it's the same. The two are obligations, pero es como decir tienes que y debes de es lo mismo. Pero si así estamos hablando de un tono legal o una regla establecida 
donde ustedes trabajan, viven o van, es must. Like in this moment, in this moment, me imagino in your, in your work or in a hospital, you must wear a, a mask, no? Yes, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the doctor must um, wear protection, I yeah. imagine. So that is the difference. Have to and must is the same, Mimo. Yes, you get a, a, a really, really la diferencia. Must is legal. That's it. The autoridad. Yes. Okay, and next is should. Should. So give me an example. Like, look, oh my God, I can't read the instructions on a sopa Maggie anymore. You should wear glasses. Mm -hmm. You should wear grass, glasses. Good. You should. You, yeah. You should wear glasses. You, you should take the photo and, and, and try to read. It after. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, you should take a photo and then. <laughs> that's actually what I do. Yeah, but you should. This is a suggestion. That's a recommendation. Yeah, yeah. should is like a recommendation, right? Yes, should is an advice. Advice. Oh, okay. Advice. When you got the flu, maybe you should visit the doctor. Yes. Like, like for example, hey, look, I love, um, I like rustic pizza. Do you do you know a good pizza place? Yeah. Um, Classic. Mm -hmm. Pizza Nova is a. And I said, you should go to Pizza Nova. Okay. You're, yeah. Uh -huh. So you're giving me an advice. It's like, I love, remember, I think yesterday we were talking about Chinese food with this class. Like, oh, you like Chinese food? You should go to Palillos Chinos. It's very good. It's an advice. You should. Yes. Um, yes. We're talking about Mexican food. Oh, you like Mexican food? Where is a good Mexican food here? Uh, a, a good Mexican restaurant in... Yeah, you should go to Andale or something. Mm -hmm. Andale is good. Felipe in Santa Elena. <laughs> Where? Felipe. Oh, yeah. yeah Santa Siempre tienen el buffet. I don't know. I have a uh, long time. One time, one time I went, it was a buffet of everything, right? And I promise you in the complete restaurant, maybe three tables, maybe the maximum three tables were occupied. And it was so much food, so much food. I was, oh my God, all this food and no people. <laughs> <laughs> and how much it cost, the buffet? I don't remember. I think it was like $11 per person. $11. Yeah, 11 $15 per person. But remember, a buffet is good because it's $11. The problem is the drink. See, el, el soda vale $5. <laughs> <laughs> $5. <laughs> <laughs> that's the catch that's the catch so i remember yes. it was it was funny because i told my wife in that moment she was my girlfriend and i said hey we, we should take this food home she said no no we can't do that why because look at all the food is nine or ten at night what do they do with all that food so no you can't do that you can't do that so when my when my wife when she went to the bathroom, 
I got a bag and I put all the food in in a bag and I put it in her purse. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> I so, know food. Yeah. So when we were driving, when we were driving, I told my wife, Imaginate toda esa comida se va a desperdiciar. And she said, Oh, yeah. And I said, Open your bag. And she, Oh my God, you stole the food. I didn't. <laughs> Pero bien, se la comió. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but Felipe's is good. I like Felipe's. I remember the live music. Yeah. Yeah. You should go to El Zócalo too. El Zócalo is good. You know where you should go? <laughs> Imagine there's no pandemia. You should mm -hmm. go to Sears. Yeah, they have a, a restaurant, Sanborns. Sanborns, 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 Sanborns. Yeah. Yes. Remember the buffet? The yes. Tacos? Oh, man, those are good. Hey, tacos. And you can eat tacos. All, all, all the tacos you want. But those are good tacos because I remember one time I went to, I went to Chili's or, yeah, I think, or, yeah, I think it was Chili's that it was all you can eat tacos buffet. But I promise you the, the tortilla was like this. <laughs> and, um, and you go and they only give you three tacos and with little meat. And just, can you put more? No, if you say it's tres a la vez. Like, really, man? And there were like boquitas, man. <laughs> so you eat them and then you have to stand up and go again. I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. Y le ponían doble tortilla para mí. And I said, no, please, only one tortilla. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so was more tortilla with like only two pieces of meat. And I said, no, please, only one tortilla per taco. I'm not stupid. I want good food. So um, <laughs> when I went to Sanborns to the restaurant, oh, it was different because the tacos are big. Yeah, he said, "Oh no, quantas tortillas quiere? Yeah, one, please." Mm. Uh oh, do you hear the siren? Nope, I nope. do. No, no, I, I, uh, I can. No, I don't. I don't know why, but I frequently. Remember I told you that I live by Paso del Jaguar? Yes. Oh. I live I live like one block. I live behind the gas station, Atrás de la Puma. And um, oh. oh man, frequently you hear now Pre you frequently hear minute, yeah. sirens. All in, every, every it's always at night you hear sirens. I imagine it's the patients with COVID, maybe the emergencies. From mm -hmm. the Oriente or Occident, the Oriente, maybe. When they translate, uh... yeah. And and I and I think and I think it's at this time because at night there's no traffic. Uh huh. Maybe, mm -hmm. but it's always at night you hear the sirens, always. And maybe ten minutes ago, maybe ten minutes ago. You hear the stupid people haciendo carrera, man. Whoa, mm. whoa, man, that's so. Mm. That's happened near my house. I, I live near the Monsignor Romero. Oh, really? Yes. What um, part? What part of Monsignor Romero? Is. Uh, By Escalon? No. In. in do you know. Uh, Agriculture and Ganadería, me, me, I think. Oh yes, the Ministry of um, of Agriculture. Uh huh. Yes. So, I live. I live around. Ne around, yes. So, uh, well, uh, one of my windows, uh, yeah. you can see the Monsignor Romero. Okay. So uh, many times the the, the people are doing races. Oh, but here it's forever, for years. Uh -huh. it's, it's Friday and Saturday. It's two, three, four. And I think, but empiezan like at nine, at nine. 
and they finish maybe at one and they continue wow. at three in the morning and four at this time i think they are drunk <laughs> yeah too dangerous yes it's, it's really stupid people i hate they are stupid people. People. i really yes. hate and you know i know it's bad but sometimes i wish i wish they have an accident and <laughs> I don't want them to die, no, but I wish they have an accident. Yeah. Like, you know, yes. they, they learn not to do that. The, the, I understand. I hate the, that, that people. Yes. The problem the problem is when they have accidents with some people that that yes, just it, it, are, with are another people. passing. Uh -huh, with another ball, people. Animal. Imagine an yes. innocent person is passing and they're in the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, so, and and you can hear it because um they have this big engine so what? really is but i don't understand because it was with the arena government the fmln government and this government i don't understand how difficult it is to call the police one here and one in wisukar that's it that's mm -hmm. all you need i don't understand why they don't stop yeah. that but what I think, what I think is that some of those people that race are rich people. Probably. And they have connections. Mm -hmm. it, it's a hobby. It's like a sport. It's obvious, obvious. Yeah, because you see some beautiful, beautiful cars like, wow. Like, man. Imagine cars. how much they cost. Yeah, so I imagine they have connections with the police or something because... It's very easy. Just put a, 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 imagine two police pickups. That's all you need, and there's no problem. But they will never stop that. <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. You mm -hmm. have a, a great weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I have uh, a great weekend. You. you too, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night, everybody.